You are listening to the Complex Action Actual Play Podcast. They thought they were in and out of that mana storm without any major problems. Well, does it ever really go that way? Let's just say that Leroy isn't going to be the only one who lost their lunch on this boat trip. <laughs> now please enjoy episode 31, The Real Storm. I mean, uh, that was hairy and all, but that's not bad for the payday that we got. Just as you say that, everybody give me a perception test. Anybody who's on <laughs> above deck. Just do it with a minus six. Um, we, uh... No, you don't have uh, you don't have the modifiers right now. It's still cloudy and and a little bit rainy. You probably have a minus a minus one. It's it's just it's lightening up. Are we still out on the ocean, or are we like most of the? You're way? on the ocean, yeah. All right, I'm the below deck. Uh, two hits on perception. One hit from payday. Same for throwback one. All right. Well. Three. Okay, three. Uh, well, just as Payday says that, you know, uh, this could have been, a, you know, a lot, pretty good considering the, the, uh, the pay, the pay, payday or whatever. Um, just as he says that, right before it happens, Wada sees a uh, very lar- a large, um, dark uh, outline of a ship coming at pretty high speed towards the boat, and everyone needs to make a a reaction plus intuition roll as your ship gets rammed by another boat. I should have asked earlier, I have um, a specialization in balance within gymnastics. Can I, like, add that to this, or...? Um, sure. Uh, do I get a plus three for having seen it? You know, I'll give it to you. I am totally surprised. I only get one hit. I'm surprised oh, no. regardless of my bonus. <laughs> hey, they get zero hits. <laughs> I, I got six. It's almost as if I had it coming to me after that comment poetic justice so did anybody besides wada uh no besides um throwback get get three hits i guess that's a no all right so everybody is surprised and and probably uh uh, thrown off balance um you'll want to all roll to see if you fall down but throwback you're just you see it you you know you felt it and you uh did whatever you had to do spinning wheels and going up popping wheelies and (laughs) in your wheelchair yeah I, th- I think for like the majority of this trip i've been near a railing at like like you know constantly connected via rope to a railing or another so i just sort of like pull that tight and like before i have a chance to sort of yell anything i just i just lock the brakes and and hold on throwback is going to be the only one who gets to uh do this um to roll initiative but just right before, as you're rolling initiative here uh captain calabash yells Pirates! Don't we just all roll initiative, but uh, those of us who failed don't get That's to right. on the first pass? That's right. So it's kind of like, yeah, yes, you're right about that. The captain's yelling pirates and throwbacks yelling Abraham Lincoln! Let me uh, put the uh, initiative, copy the initiative chart down into our current part of the notes. Oh, can I get a link to those? I'm a bad person. And for the, for the cannon, when he yells pirates, I do that like secondary girly stream pirates pirates there's the link there You're my hero. i'm gonna add a link to our table i'm gonna try to figure out a way to do so so that we can just always have this i think I you have to do it in the forums part you won't let me log into my own google drive account so it's logged into courtney so i can't type in here so if you want to just tell me what you get oh. i'll add it okay well i requested edit access is courtney to but uh, I got I rolled oh, okay. fourteen, so I get nothing on the first pass, but four on the second pass. And I gave you sharing access, so if you reload it, you should be good. But I'll I'll put a four on the second pass there. Yeah, there we go. Thank you. Is anybody else adding their uh, initiative in there? Meaning, you know, you should. I'm not sure if pillars in this combat or not somewhere in a prison far away she just suddenly got the urge to punch everybody around her plot she twist initiative. oh no she's a pirate I put my spirit of air in there though it won't do anything other than maintain movement power unless I tell it to do otherwise okay so is everybody who's going to be um, in the initiative can I move on I think so okay I don't see Wada in the initiative chart she's there at the bottom yeah at the bottom 
Oh, okay, I was putting my initiative in the one we used previously instead. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think we all did. Oh, yeah, that's why I thought it was... I added another one at the bottom. Yeah, there you go. I mean, I think we should just make our own uh, separate one of these. All right, so we've got something going on 16, I think. Yeah, hold on. Um, throwback. That's my name. Do you have any devices turned on? I have every device turned on. Is it hidden? No. My cyber deck would not be running silently right now. Okay. Well, uh, give me a uh, firewall plus intuition roll then. Uh, four successes. All right. Throwback, it's uh, your turn. All right, uh, braced for the impact there. I'm going to immediately shoot out a matrix perception, trying to identify anything about this uh, this foreign vessel. Oh, I did it again. Uh, let me see how many of these I can keep. I can keep six successes. So I'm looking for, um, you know, trying to identify maybe how many people might be aboard this vessel based on perhaps weapons that are currently active or comm links. If there's any notable icons I see, like, you know, laser cannons or, you know, Abe Lincoln, like any, anything that might be worth shouting out to my friendlies, that kind of information. <laughs> okay. Whoops. And how many hits did you get on your matrix perception? I can keep up to six of them. That, that's I got okay. more than that. That's a humble brag. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> um, Take it while I can. All right. You notice uh, there are definitely some silently running icons. All right. I'll uh, file that away for later. But are, are there any icons uh, not running silently? Or are all the, the juicy stuff uh, hidden, potentially hidden? Like, do I just not see anything, I guess? Um, you see... You see, no, correct. You don't see anything, but you you do do detect that there are some silently running icons. Okay, sounds good. Next up will be. All right, one second. I'm I'm learning something here. Okay, the uh, who is on who is on deck? By the way, I am. Water. Payday yep. and uh, party girl. And throw it back. All right. Um, everyone who is on deck, unless would would anybody have been hanging out right at the like bow of the ship, right at the front, all the way at the front, like like uh, on the Titanic with Rose style? I don't think I'm hanging over, but I probably would have been toward the front. All right. I believe it because she is fascinated by the sea. Yeah, I'd likely be toward, uh, probably close to wherever the captain's standing, so wherever, if there's a big old control wheel thing. I don't really think Payday got that far yet. All right, I'm going to say that uh, Payday and and Elric, you guys are going to be more towards the uh, the big, you know, there's like a... There's like a big covered area towards the back of the boat, like a big house, housing where, you know, the captain or the, the person piloting the ship would be. And there's like a little, you know, place to stand in there away from the weather. Um, there's also a big open area where all the stuff is happening out in the front. That's the main deck. And on there is like the crane and whatnot. And what is at the front? Um, Payday and Elric, are you guys, so you guys are closer to the building then. Okay. I would imagine so. That's what I. That's what I imagine anyway. Do you have any preference for where throwback would be? I. You know. I guess it's either. What do we got? Either the front or near the building or the back. Are those the three options? So there's like the front. There's uh like you know all the way at the tippy front. There's uh towards where Payday and Elric are more towards the uh the the covered, um you know pilots area. And then there's, you know, you could also be out in the middle near the crane where people were doing work. That would be just out in the middle of everything. Um, just, it's empty, you know, it's, but it's just a flat deck, but it's just out in the middle there. 
Okay, I just rolled a d3. I guess I am standing somewhat near the, the crane. Okay. You don't stand anywhere. I am positioned. Too soon. No, the mana storm. You know, we haven't noticed it for the last 20 minutes. Throwback's just walking around. All right, well, Throwback crazy. is the only one who's going to be uh, subject to this, then. Throwback. Um... We'll start calling you Locke from now on. A bag of money falls near me? Yes! <laughs> All right, throwback at your foot, uh, at your at your feet, at your wheels and feet uh, <laughs> lands um, a small uh, canister. Um, may I spend some initiative, as I wasn't surprised to uh, to run for my life, or you know, roll for my life? <laughs> sure, certainly right. you can. I want to say it's seven. Either way, it'll be enough that it, it eliminates my uh, my next pass. Yep, go for it. You can head towards where Wada is at the front, or where Payday and uh, are. In, in a quick, very quick glance, you know, is there is there a direction that has more cover than another direction? Well, where Wada is, there's virtually no cover. I'm gonna go the opposite then from where Wada is. Because you could get, you know, this this covered area, this buildings I've been calling it, that is where the where the ship is piloted from and you know it has a walkway all the way around it you could walk all the way around it so you could get behind that um e no let's just let's just beeline because I'm, I'm in kind of a panic here i'll just i'll just beeline for payday and elric in that direction try to get out of the uh the radius of whatever the heck this is sure oh, okay looks like looks like uh, run for your life is just a minus five which is still just enough to uh to mess with my next initiative pass Wada, now you see another one drop from seemingly the sky and bounce towards uh, her, just so you're aware. I see it fall at me. It's, it bounces towards you. It's not, like, at your feet, but it's pretty close. I don't think I have the skills to do this, but I want to throw it back. Okay. If I can. Uh... Running gun is the uh, the right back at you thing. Yeah, it's, it's like an agility right test, and then I think a threat weapon test. I take that back. I won't have the initiative because I lost the initiative for surprise. So. I think it's just seven initiative or something like that. No, it's ten. I'm looking at it. No. Yeah. Well, then we will uh, move on. And you guys do see another one land near where the first one landed. Uh, but it is, um, you guys are decently far enough away from that. So there are two in the middle and one near Wada. Next would be, um, I guess, let's see. I guess we're up to, we're back to, uh, Throwback and his drones. I don't have drones. Oh, not the th not Throwback. <laughs> Payday's drones, which haven't been given any commands or orders, I suppose. Exactly. Payday is still surprised, so uh, they're well, on standby. We're on. Or he is on standby. We're on. Well, the spirit hasn't been given any orders either, so we're on second pass now. And so it's the drones who haven't been given orders. Next would be Leroy. What's up, Leroy? Second pass. We are on second pass now. Oh damn! We got all the way down. Um. Oh wait, I'm sorry. Then uh, Wada would would be going on second pass. You have six there, right? Yeah, she does. All right, now I'm pressing the wrong button because I changed it. I want to pick this thing up and throw it back. Probably a bad idea, but that's what I want to do. Sweet. I got three, so I didn't scatter. So unless it blew up my hand, I'm throwing it back. Yeah, so make yourself a throwing weapons test with a minus two dice pool penalty. Oh. Where are you throwing it? My last two didn't uh, get hit anyway. I want to throw it back at the boat. Do you have any uh, low light vision? Yes, because I'm an Oni. Oh, well, there you go. For now, you can see in the dark. So, never mind about that. Um, then, uh, yeah, it's throwing weapons test with minus two dice pool. Uh, that's fine. I still got uh, three hits. Oh, right. Okay. And what's your strength? It is an eight. All right, you're good. Are you anywhere in particular? I mean, it's hard to see this boat. It just came up. It's a, it's a, it's a black ship. Uh, my intention is mostly to get it away from my feet, so I'm just throwing it back. All right. Well, then you're able to do that. It goes no problem. All right, throwback. You're gonna want to give me another, uh, 
another intuition plus firewall. Four successes. Goodness gracious. Okay. Uh, these don't happen to be failing, do they? Um, not 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 exactly. They're uh, they're also getting four successes every time. Okay. Uh, if these are sleaze actions because they do not succeed. I should still get a mark on them just just as a uh, reminder oh really i thought they had to get more okay well then uh then you are so is that gonna okay is that going to make you aware of them exactly or just that yep. if they're if they're running silently because i now would have essentially two marks on them i would be able to see them clear as day okay would he have known that he got a mark on him the first time yeah, if the if the first action was also probably hack on the fly or another sleaze action, and we tied at four, then yeah, that would have happened there as well for the first mark. Okay, then he probably wouldn't have done the second one. But um, you then when you did a matrix perception, you're aware of a uh, uh, a persona that is, um, you know, you have a mark on now. Okay, yeah, that's that's good to know. But I guess you would need to roll willpower plus firewall then since he's going to attempt to erase that mark. Okay. Let me see if that changed my dice pool. Uh, yeah, with that in mind, you would have been looking at three successes instead of four. All right, you still have a mark. Okay, cool. Okay, suddenly you guys also see in, uh, a, a flashing light start to just like flashes on and then starts strobing on at you guys from that boat it's just uh so you're gonna get um the effects of a flash pack they, they managed to get me before i was able to put my mask on no not a i'm not the flashbang hasn't gone off oh which is what spoilers those were. <laughs> if that's what you're no from the from high up on the top of this boat like aiming at you guys is like a big floodlight and it's flashing it's a flash pack it's he probably stro- just has flare comp it, it helps the reduce oh that's the what settings. you're saying well then if you haven't put your mask on yet then you haven't put I, your mask on yet haven't got to go yet <laughs> <laughs> i haven't taken my goggles or helmet off uh, since before the whole mana swell thing yeah so if anybody has flare compensation then you're good um let's see now elric can go Right, I use a simple action to trigger my increased reflexes preparation, and my initiative goes up by a good chunk. And then I'm going to use my other simple action to order my air spirit to assist us in combat. In particular, um, use your powers of psychokinesis to take any of those canisters or small objects that the enemies throw and get them away from us. Understood. The air spirit will get to work and i'm gonna use my oh never mind now it's it's been um waiting does it, it are those considered held actions would it get to go ahead and go it's up to you whether you consider it uh to be having a held action or not that's kind of normally how i rule it but um not everybody sees it that way so i could just as easily say it was been waiting around and wasting its time until it gets what, given orders what force is the, the next spirit pass. wasn't it six yeah it's four six so it's pretty smart yeah, it's smart enough to have been prepared to receive an order, so it will uh, it will go ahead and go, and um, it'll it'll grab and swat one of those um, one of those uh, canisters off the deck. Okay. It's not going to do it in any particular direction, um, so I'm not going to have I'm not going to make it roll. It uh, yeah. It, it it gets one out of there. As long as it's away from us, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Leroy will be going. Have those little canisters exploded yet, or just not yet? Flashing lights. There's flashing lights on deck, which Leroy is not aware of, but and nothing has exploded that Leroy has heard. All he knows is that something really big just hit this boat, and it wasn't water this time. Uh, has there been any additional damage to the boat down here that I can see? Um, not that you're able to see, no. Okay. Um. I mean, I think it sounds like it's time for a balls check. I would say so. If you wanna, if you wanna pick yourself up off your off the ground and do something. <laughs> well, well, with three hits, I might stagger to my feet and stumble across the uh, hold. That's that's the nautical term there. Um, still dragging my my safety rep with me because I don't know what's going on, and I will begin to make my way up some stairs 
into flashing lights most likely yeah as you start to get up there you start to i mean you see that you see the flashing strobing lights and um grenades timed they go off on the next uh pass right or turn the action that it got thrown on Mm -hmm. it'll go off generally one combat turn from that action so if it was thrown in the first pass so it's still got some time it'll go off in the first pass of the next combat turn got it that's what i thought um all right so you see just a bunch of flashing lights yeah uh can i make like a simple action perception test to see if i can recognize anything as a grenade as i'm trying to like you know hands up like the frag is i thought it was over Just a sec. Sure. Yeah, you can make a perception, but it's going to be, you know, of course, minus four for the flash pack that's up there. Sure. I got one. You don't see a... You don't happen to notice a grenade on the ground. I probably noticed the giant ship, though. Do yeah. I see anything going <laughs> on the giant ship? Um, you don't. It's hard to see through all that flashing, uh, but there is a big ship. It's it's uh, pretty sleek looking in all black. Uh, I wish to shoot the flashing thing. You have a. I guess you have a simple action left. Yeah, well, I'll need to like quick draw my pistol or something to, to get it out. Cause yeah. I use these. Quick draw it. Let's see what you got. Finally, I mean, prob- some guts. Probably one less gun after I screw this up. Picked up some of the guts you left on the floor under the under the deck there and <laughs> so i got two hits i have a quick draw holster so that drops it from three to two so i have my gun all right and then it's like a neg- negative six to shoot it right do it yeah well no uh, are you talking about the minus six that i've been applying to everything so far uh isn't it to shoot at a dude wearing a flashback like negative six or is that only negative four i think it's just minus four i think it's just the modifier that the flash pack has which is four all right, my intention is to destroy that thing because I can't see what's going on and there's a giant, terrible thing over there. Yeah, I guess the, if you're looking for another minus two, you could say you're firing a vehicle, firing from a moving vehicle, but Cl- you Cl- might you're just be, to, uh, you're supposed you know, to be on my side. Objects floating in the water right now, so. Yeah, I'm not going to apply that right now. We've got enough going on. Um, the uh, It's going to be um, a minus, an extra minus one for medium range, though. It's uh, you said it's a pistol, right? Heavy pistol? Yeah, it's probably the Ruger. Okay, probably. You're gonna have to decide that before you shoot it. <laughs> It'll be the Ruger. Uh, medium range. Okay. Um, I got three hits to shoot it, and thanks to your uh refunding of a die that I penalized myself for, I did not. Well, I did glitch. I, no, wait, one, two, three, four, five. All right, five out of ten. So, who? Almost. All right. See if you had held on to that die we would have had all kinds of wonderful things go wrong well you uh did manage to get up and shoot out the flash pack so you guys aren't aren't dealing with that anymore helping that's me all right anybody else still waiting to go payday it's you're up growling payday payday slides on the on his mask and uh orders a, a party girl to load the explosive ammo and that's me Okay, um, the uh, let's see. Since everything is uh, in the dark right now, well, so the uh, there's a big light on the top of the boat, and it moves. There's a big light that gets turned from your boat. It gets turned over to this enemy boat and reveals uh, what may be going on on the boat. So you don't have to deal with that darkness anymore. Uh, the the person driving the boat did that. And you see on the boat there are some people there, but uh, th- one of them takes is a is a female. She takes off of her back a harpoon and uh, and stabs it into the deck of the boat. And then um, from that, one sec, yeah, from that uh, you get a bunch of shards of of wind and ice start to spin around the deck of your boat. And uh, everybody's going to have to resist um, some cold damage. I don't want to. Oh, yeah. Could we opt out? That'd be great. I, I do need to call Bobby out on the fact that these are not seeming to be ghost pirates. We haven't actually seen one yet. I mean, I guess that's true, but they don't sound very ghost piratey. Bring that up with them on your next free action. Are you alive? 
for the record. None of this is my fault for saying it. Yeah, we're going to have words. Were we still in a background count, or did that completely dissipate? It's gone now. Cool. And I'm looking up what I need to roll for this. I thought it would be uh, simple. I never have enough time to prepare, guys. Sorry. <laughs> and as a note, of course, I'm no longer using my eyes to really see. I'm using sensors at this point for my mask. Um, in fact, we're going to change that. It's not... She didn't... Let's see. Instead... Because I don't feel like looking it up anymore. I'll just... Do you want help? Was it just Ice Storm? Yeah, it's Ice Storm. An area indirect spell, so essentially works so much of a grenade. Yep, her base three hits to put it... Oh, sorry, go ahead. Yeah, base three hits to put it where she wants it. Any hits above that or net hits it add to the damage. AP equal to the force. And something about the remaining... Uh, any, any any bonus hits uh, make it hard for people to not slip and slide in the boat. You also can do a negative five to run away if anyone's half still an issue. <laughs> and I believe it's still just spell casting and magic rating to uh, cast it, right? That mm -hmm. spell works differently than I thought it did for some reason. So I'm going to she, I'm going to have her cast the other spell. For some reason, I thought that was a sustained spell, which is what I'm wanted to do. It does linger after it's been cast. You don't actually have to sustain it, though. I believe it creates a sheet of ice for a next number of rounds. Everybody just roll willpower plus logic. I don't want to. like the ice storm better. <laughs> we all try to help, and he just mind controls us. All right, yeah, I'm just going to, since I don't have uh, the ability to declare spell defense, I can only put it on myself. Oh, convenient, Elric. I got a big fat zero. Thank God for downers. Are you stubborn? Oh, big time. Throw, throwback got four hits. Payday got six hits. Nice. Elric got six hits as well. And Party Girl doesn't care because Party Girl's not a real girl. Aww. Aww. Did I miss what Leroy and Wada got? Zero. Two. All right. Leroy you, has a minus two as he's being he's under the effects of a mass confusion spell. Hooray. But nobody else does. As if life wasn't bad enough on the ocean, Leroy. Yeah, this is terrible. Worst session ever for Leroy. Yeah? yeah? He's not in the water yet. Why did you say yet? <laughs> session still has plenty of time to get you swimming. All right, and from over the boat, you see a man come out and begin to run at incredible speed, and he leaps from his boat and in the middle of the air pulls out two, two uh, sabers as he lands onto the deck of your, right in the middle of the deck of your boat. And, uh, you are so lucky I don't have initiative. <laughs> and that was his turn. Uh, out from uh, the the uh, the boat also comes this very large, very armored troll, and he he uh, he reaches his arm out, and from the from his from the his arm, his hand shoots out of his. He's got a cyber arm, his right arm. His hand shoots out and grabs the uh, arm of the crane, and he swings himself over and lands on the boat. You f you feel it too when he hits the d your deck. It's like doom. Who the hell are these people? I don't know, but they look awesome. <laughs> no, they don't. Leroy doesn't do any of that stuff. It's Elric's turn. All right, so four of second pass. Hmm. Uh, do I see any more of those canisters around that they threw on board? Uh, there is one more, yes. All right, I'm going to use my uh, magic finger spell then to grab it and just throw it away overboard. Okay. What kind of action is that? Is that a simple or complex? Um, I believe it's... Uh, I mean, this is kind of like a... This is kind of like a magic fingers powered. Um, I could see simple action to pick it up, simple action to toss it. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, that'll be my action. I was about to say I was about to call it one of those uh, you know, right back at your actions, but that's to actually get run up and grab it, and it's more complicated. So you're able to do yeah. that. I don't want to do anything fancy. I just want to get it away from us. Whatever it is, I don't want it on the same right, boat right. as me. Okay, you got it away. The spirit um, no, doesn't have any. Uh, anything to do so it's not actually um i did give it orders to assist us in the combat so you could start doing oh, other okay. stuff i just uh gave it the as as a priority to get rid of those things so i right, think right. uh it's got a uh, confusion or an engulf power that it would most likely use in combat it's going to uh attempt to confuse i think because it saw the uh the 
the mage. It's gonna go. It would go for the mage or the magic user. Okay, it's gonna try its confusion power on the magic user then. Who gets to resist with willpower plus logic and counterspelling doesn't help on this. Of course, it might not be all that important. The spear gets three hits. All right, and what are the effects? Um, any net hits uh, become a negative dice pool modifier for any actions while it's sustained. Got it. Okay. The uh, the guy who just landed the uh, who with who pulled out the two uh, the two swords is going to uh, is going to go for it's going to go for um, payday. You fragger. So payday, you're going to want to roll uh, uh, reaction plus intuition. Some of my strong suits. Not what I want downers though. Ah, still three hits. All right, well, he comes at you with the sword and swings, and you're going to have to resist 10 physical AP minus two. Oh. He's moving, like, like fast. You can't make me bleed my own blood. I resist seven of them. All right, well, there you go. Is that a physical or a stun damage for you? What's your armor? Uh, armor is 14. So that's stun. Three stun. You got there. Oh, no. It was, a. Uh, yeah, it was, um, or sorry, four, tw- four stun. Yeah, it would be 12 with the, uh, of course, with the armor pen. Right. Main point is it's stun damage. As he brings the sword down and whacks it into your armor, um, it cuts into the armor. It doesn't go all the way through, but he hits pretty hard. All right. The, uh, the, another, another, uh, canister drops onto the deck. And let's see, right in the middle of, um, <laughs> right in the middle of Payday, Throwback, Elric, and now Leroy. All right, give me another willpower plus firewall roll there, uh, Throwback. Uh, you said willpower plus firewall? Yes. That'll be, eh, I'm going to spend a point of edge on this one. Mm. A total of five hits. Aha! Finally, I can erase the mark. I wish I was ah, doing okay. something a little bit more deadly. <laughs> Your mark is gone from this persona. And for the record, I believe uh, I still see him until he completes a hide action. Yeah, now. he'd have to hide first. All right, it's initiative time. So how far away is the other boat? And I think water goes before Elric does. Oh, never mind. Fixing it now. I'm a few behind you. Um, the boat is like uh, it has stricken your boat, like it rammed you guys. Okay, so I'm going to levit using my levitate movement. I'm going to go and land on the other boat so that I'm behind and with a good view of wherever the like the helm position would be. Like, is this boat kind of open topped, or I, I you know, as I'm flying towards it, I'm observing. Yes, it's got an open deck. There is um it's it's got a little area. So is there a guy at the helm? Is he like and if so You can't you she... can't see a person that's piloting it. No. Not not from from the top there. Well, I, I land on their boat. I mean like on the deck, you don't see anything. I'm I'm stalling here to so I can pull up a picture real quick so I can uh does anybody have uh rigor 5 open? I At all times. Hero Lab doesn't have pictures. Oh. What are you looking for? Are you looking for a boarding action? No, I'm not looking for actions. I'm trying to... I should have had this already pulled up. Hold on. Guys. What kind of boat is it? It's the uh, Corsair Panther. It's on page 85. Okay. So I'm going to land kind of back behind there then and see if I can't like get get into the boat itself. Since it looks like there's that kind of canopy thing toward the front, but maybe toward the back area there's an opening. Yeah, okay. You can position yourself there. Yeah, there's a door there. So I, I guess I will... Is the door open, or is it a doorway? Um, it's it's like a, it's a door that's closed. All right, I'm going to open the door and go in. All right, you've got the door open. I'm going to call that the, uh, the turn. You had to find the door, open the door. Okay. Is there anybody uh, out here with me? Uh, well, there was uh, there was the 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 woman that was casting a spell. 
she's uh, oh, she's not right next to you, but uh, you would have you would have gone past her. Yeah. Okay, I'll use a free act designate spell defense on myself and all the members of our party. I will include a girl among those. Oh yeah. Yeah, the spirit of air is not included. Sorry, spirit of air. Okay, um, Wada, what's your edge? One. Okay. So, throwback. Give me a willpower plus firewall again. Darn it, Wada! Why couldn't you have had more edge? <laughs> Six successes. What is your problem? <laughs> On nine dice, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, for every net hit that I beat that at, if I do, uh, they take one unresisted matrix damage if this is an attack. Well, action. you know what? I don't even have to spend edge, and I won this time. Oh, dang. <laughs> keep all of them? Um, on an attack action, do you know when... You know when it happens, right? Because it's, it's an attack exceeds, action. Yes, I'll, I'll know it happened. Yeah, because you're going to get a one matrix damage unresisted, right? I mean, because uh, I got two net. Oh, you do get a chance to soak this one. It's a. Uh, oh. It's when it comes back to you that you don't, right? Right. Was it a data spike? No, it's a brute force. Oh. Okay. Okay. So for every two net hits that it beat me by, it I'll take. I, I get to soak one damage. Yeah. So you got that's one coming to you. Okay. I'll try to soak that. And you have a mark on you now. Now it's Wada's turn. How far are they? Give just a quick distance. Then 12 meters? Yes. Yep. Yeah. And one of them is a sword wielding at after it. Yeah, and one of them's a big giant troll with a bunch of armor who just launched his arm over and he's got a big axe on his back. And the sword wielding adept is in melee combat with Payday? Correct. Cool. Uh, well, we'll see how this goes. I am going to. Notch an arrow in my bow and do a called shot pen. Called shot what? Pen. I'm going to try to pin him to like the floor or the ground or whatever is nearby. All right. Tell me how many uh, uh, tell me how many hits you get. I got 7. All right. So what are the effects of pin? A uh, successful attack if the DV exceeds armor rating. What's the uh, base damage value? You got two net hits. What is the uh, modified damage value? You just do the math 12, for me. 12p minus 4. And so if that exceeds his da his armor, is that what you're saying? Yeah, if the DV exceeds his armor, then he's pinned to some type of surface. It does not exceed his armor. Okay, then. I just shot him. All right, and it was 12p, you said? Yeah, 12p minus 4. Okay. Well, he's not too happy about that. Next is this guy, or girl. Okay, uh, Elric. That's my way of stalling. Hold on. Reaction plus intuition. Um, what's happening? You're getting uh, attacked by an indirect combat spell. Okay, I think I will use my counter spelling to assist me with it. That would be six hits. As I quickly throw up a, a shield of magic to help deflect the attack as I throw myself to the side. Well, it helps you deflect um, the, uh, the, the, the female who has, who has left her harpoon stuck in the deck where she was, went around and, and she slung... It's like this this uh, um, combination of um, it's like a wet kind of sloppy fireball spell that f flies out. It's a it's a fire water spell, but it you know it looks like a combination of these things, and it just flies out and gets deflected by your uh, your uh, thing. You 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 deflect it. I'm bad at descriptions tonight, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I I just uh whoa. Next thing, who is, uh, so Elric is over on the other boat. Uh, Lee, well, throwback, okay, throwback, give me a reaction plus, uh, intuition. Four successes. Ooh, you managed to, so one of the guns that is on the boat, uh, because there are guns on the boat, by the way, um, you notice that now because one of them points at you and shoots a, <laughs> <laughs> and shoots a net at you and you manage to avoid it. 
Who does that? Throwback shoots out as he sort of, you know, ducks off to the side. Um, next is the uh, the guy who just got hit by an arrow. I don't he, like that guy. <laughs> he's going to he's going to uh, break with uh, payday actually, and um, run and attack uh, the woman who just shot an arrow at him. Is protect the principal edge or is that initiative? Both. It's both. Ah, yeah. oh, it's so expensive. Well, I believe in you this time. It's okay. I just realized I dumped all my arrows overboard at some point. This will be fine. <laughs> you dumped all your arrows. You did they, go swimming. They were in your coat? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to say yes. I think for some odd reason, I only bought one at Kerrigan, so. <laughs> the Synergist business line quiver. It's the latest fashion. You're counting on that single arrow. That was the only one you were going to need. Now you just need to dive past him with like a an agile defender and pull it out of the deck of the boat and reuse it. Keep shooting it back. Yeah, he's, it's efficient that way. He's actually um. If I, I fired enough arrows in real life. I don't believe they're recoverable usually. Come on, bring it. He's actually not going to run at you. He's going to instead pull out a throwing knife and throw it at you. Does he think he is a ninja? Did you see the flip he did? I mean, I'm sure he has the most, the darkest of backstories with all of the, the flippy ninja two sword shit. He's also about to go swimming. All right, give me a reaction plus intuition roll. One. Ooh, this is gonna hurt, Wada. He uh, he he pulls out the knife and throws it, deadly accuracy, and it's going to be 13 p with AP minus one. Well, tonight is my night. Um. I'll take 11. <laughs> oh! Oh, physical. It's also uh, <laughs> six just, ones. The knife just jabs me in the jugular. <laughs> I go down bleeding on the ground. Ah, <laughs> uh, guys. So next episode, we're reintroducing Cassie's third character. <laughs> Pillar breaks out of jail on her own. <laughs> no, no, it's the ninja. Make it the ninja. All right. This is why I'm always too easy on players. I feel bad about it. Levine, blah, 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 blah. Let's see. Party Girl is up. Or the Spirit of Air, rather. Well, the Spirit of Air is going to use its psychokinesis power to do its uh, prioritized <laughs> um, activity of grabbing the canister that's been dropped onto the boat and making it elsewhere than the boat. Sure thing. It's gone. Now Party Girl's turn. Party Girl's still got to wait for Payday to give it a command. Will I be able to use Party Girl on my initiative? If you jump in? I mean, no, because you'll have to jump in, right? Oh, I didn't plan on jumping in. We well, can issue commands and let the dog brain do stuff. Yeah. That's the idea. So it'll go on the next pass, because I guess it would have spent this turn doing the thing you told it to do, which was to... What was it that you told it to do? I forget. Uh, essentially change Load. ammunition to explosive rounds. That's right, that's right, explosive rounds. So it's got explosive rounds ready to go. All right, so the orc, or the orc, the troll... Uh, pulls off the uh, axe on his back and and then uh, and then uh, starts to uh, well he's he's you know got the axe off his back and he uh, attacks Leroy who is going to give me a reaction plus intuition roll. Combat axes are reach two, right? The, when they're wielded by a troll. Yeah. I don't like this. He's half a boat away from you. I got three hits. Hold on a second. Let me back up for just a moment. Sure, he goes home and rethinks his life. You've got the three hits. I'm still going to do that. I just realized something. Um, you would have been... Cassie, you would have only had nine damage. I didn't take into account um, physical limit for this guy. I was resisting only nine? or I was resisting? No, um, you were... At the end of the day, like it's it would have been two less damage. I can't remember. Okay. So it would have been 11 altogether, because I think it was 13, right? Yeah. And if that Woo. makes make sure if that if that drops it into stun instead of physical, it does. And I'm not an overflow. All right, that wasn't me being nice either because I was kind of happy you, that I finally. Yeah, it was. It was no, it's still physical because um, I dropped my coat in the water, so I've only got oh, eight right. armor with the negative one. Well, you're still bleeding pretty friggin' badly then. I'm not unconscious. <laughs> um, now uh, the axe is gonna try to chop Leroy's head off. I really prefer he did. All right. Well, Leroy, 
uh, that axe has made contact with you. Mm-mm. Um, and it is one net hit. That makes it 14 physical, AP minus four. Well, he's a big boy. Let me go ahead and edge that, because uh, that was bad. I'll soak 11 of that. So three stun. Stun. That's right. You have like 85 armor or something, right? <laughs> 25 actual armor. Oh, all right, who, um, let's see, Leroy, you're up. Uh, yeah, that hurt. Um, well, I guess my, my answer is pretty simple here in that I will, I will drop the Ruger because this is a troll and they need, they need special things. Unfortunately for him, that special thing is a AK-97. You pull it out. As you're pulling it out, he, he's, he laughs and he says, let's dance, little man. I got three hits on a simple full auto. Ooh, what's the base damage? You got three net hits. What's your modified damage? <laughs> you got zero. Uh, th- 13 stun, AP, negative one, gel. So that's modified? Yeah, that's the total. That's what I'm s- okay. Yeah, he didn't get any hits. So basically he saw you pull it out and he was a little overconfident. He just stood there laughing as you shot him. <laughs> How did he feel after he got shot? We'll, we'll, we'll find out, won't we? Um, you said it was 13? Yeah. Eh. AP negative one. Yeah, you phased him a little. If for some crazy reason the damage is over his physical limit minus two, he gets knocked out. Well, he certainly does not get knocked down. I didn't think so. All right, next pass, Elric, you're up again. You've got a, you've got a. Well, you missed payday. Payday? Did I miss payday? Oh, I missed a couple of people. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was clicking next pass on my guys. Um. Uh, yeah, okay, payday. I mean, throwback, it's your turn. Okay, um, so the final result for Wada was that she's not bleeding and unconscious, right? She's bleeding. She's not unconscious, bleeding. though. I'm on the okay. ground, also. I'm laying down right now. He threw that knife really hard. Okay, um... It's like sticking out of her chest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's That's, that's really what I get for not wearing my armor. What you yeah. get for saving that guy's life? <laughs> in like the back of the shot, we can see just floating in the waves, just that little bright yellow jacket or whatever. You um, bring me my ballistic mask, that'd be great. Yeah, I feel like I feel like I really want a day to spike this pest that's that's poking me, but my friends are dying right in front of my eyes, so I am going to I'm gonna ready uh, my shotgun. That's Ooh, your shotgun's like, coming lingering. out. Yeah. And I'm going to say, uh, he's probably going to shout while he pulls the trigger, like, leave my friends alone, and just blast a, a shot towards the, I guess this was the, the add-up that, that had the throwing knives. Yeah. Yeah, so that's that's going to be my action. Let me let me roll that up. Nice. Uh, after spending a point of edge, that is six hits for, uh, for a standard shot. Mm, I already spent this guy's edge. Uh, you got three net hits on him. With three net hits, he's got a gel round coming his way for 14 stun. No armor pen. All right. So uh, throwback, you know, throws the the blanket off of his lap with the shotgun, I guess. <laughs> yeah, that's that's kind of like where he keeps it most times. It's just, I just you know, yeah. partially concealed under his lap. I remember you saying that back at the first data run. Um, so any, you know, leave my friends alone, shoots him and a... Uh, because you know he had turned away, he was he had swung at pay- Payday you know with the sword and then turned his his uh, back away sort of and like flung the knife out that you know is now sticking out of Wada's chest, and then the shotgun comes out and hits him sort of in the back so it was hard for him to, you know and then he flies down and flops onto the ground he's face first onto the deck now, so there you go and Payday you're up the guy who was swinging a sword at you now uh, just got just got wiped by uh by your decker. <laughs> wow. So so he's like he's straight out KO'd? Uh I mean he's face first on the ground. But not moving? You know, he might move next time. It's only been like a half second. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I just wanted to know if he was like a smear of blood or whatever. <laughs> There's no blood, but that hit him square. I'll frag this guy anyway. These these two guys that jumped over, they've got like extra arm they've got like good armor on and 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 stuff, you know padding their arms and legs and stuff and they're pretty armored so well whatever always double tap uh payday levels his uh enfield and uh 
puts a uh, shot into him. The uh, the guy on the ground. Yeah. All right, don't roll it. Don't don't bother. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, you, sh- God, you shot rip. him. And uh, I also use a simple command to tell a uh, uh, party girl to uh, target uh, or to terminate Leroy's uh, target. Got it. Now we're on second pass. And now right. it's Elric's turn. I'm going to use my movement to step inside the cabin. I'll use a simple action to close the door behind me. And then I'm going to use another simple action to trigger a uh, another preparation. My reaction's a little bit higher. All right. Well, next up is, uh, let's see. Intuition plus firewall there, uh, Decker man. Yeah, this might come back to bite me. I use that intuition this time plus firewall? Correct. If that gives you any hint at what's happening. Oh, I know. Uh, we're on the second pass, though, right? Yep. Okay. That is eight hits. I'm not making this stuff up. I believe you. Um, however, however, uh, you have, uh, I got five net hits on a data spike as I push my limit. Ooh, okay. And that um, is not going to be good. No, not for you. (laughs) All right. So it's, uh, I have to do some math here. What is it? It's attack plus the five net hits plus two for the mark, right? Correct. Yeah. And then that's probably enough because I'm only soaking two of it, but he may have also had like programs like Hammer or um, the other one. Hopefully not biofeedback. I'm in AR anyways. It wouldn't have mattered. You're, fortunately for you, he did not have those things uh, loaded yet. Yeah, so just his attack attribute plus two for the mark plus five net hits. All right, so you're resisting uh, 15 matrix damage. Yeah, that's going to be enough to, uh, to send the deck up in flames. Holy trick. Yep, I knew I had to choose between my friend or my cyber deck. It uh, just happened a lot quicker than I thought. Well, it's well, still repairable, as long as you don't yeah, glitch in correct. your test it's, to fix it. It's, repla- it's repairable. It's I, yeah. I learned that um, on the, <laughs> the run I went on with Cassie recently. Yeah, so just from, from like, you know, uh, throwbacks uh, on his side where his little bag is, uh, there's just like a loud crackle and a pop. Uh, you probably don't see any of the sparks, but there's just like a sort of a column of black smoke now pouring out of uh, the, the top of the bag. Well, that ain't good. <laughs> yeah, throwback just replies, I'm blind. It's Wada's turn. Well, uh, I'm going to see. Well, actually, you uh, you <laughs> didn't you lose two of your initiative because, or three? Yeah, because of the first. Yeah, so it's not quite your turn yet. Um, that knife, that knife in your chest is uh, making you a little bit slower. All right, so inside uh, the the cabin there, the uh, you're gonna get a spirit that manifests in front of Elric. Hot wreck. What does it look like? It's a water spirit. Now water can go. Wait, is it a water spirit? It's a Wada spirit. <laughs> Don't insult the Lao. I can't remember. Somebody reminded me. Is the wound modifiers apply to the threshold or the stand-up test? Yeah, for sure. I would imagine, yeah. I believe so the only things that test. don't apply to is when you're resisting damage. Damage resistance, yeah. Yep, so you're right. Surprised Wada doesn't have kip-up. I'm a samurai, you. All right, I'm not standing up, uh, but I will ready uh, with my last simple action, uh, my whip out of my fingertip. You're doing what now? I am popping off with my thumb the tip of my index finger, and it's going to go flying out, and this big, long, thin whip is going to come out. Ooh, Drek. Oh, yeah. Just got real. While she flounders around on her back. On the <laughs> stand. Like, oh, my back. I don't know how <laughs> it is. Just to set that scene. All right. Almost impressive. <laughs> that's the, that's our, our catchphrase, yeah. <laughs> you guys don't have a team name yet. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure that it is, it, at least in spirit, almost impressive. Yeah. All right. Um, again, another uh, gun is going to aim and fire. Let's see. Payday is going to need to roll reaction plus intuition. Curses. Three hits. 
All right, you're going to need to resist some damage, but um, as a, a gun turns towards you and uh, you don't really, uh, nobody really hears anything, but uh, give me a willpower roll. Do you have any uh, ear damping? Um, I do not think I do. Just checking my helmet for a quick sec. Not on this one, nope. Well, give me a willpower roll uh, and re to resist eight stun as a sonic screech rifle shoots at you. Just straight willpower, or? Correct. That's a fun gun. Wow, uh, three hits. And I say that with a wow because I only had three dice. All right, well, you're hit. You've got five stun if you've got three if you got three hits on that and you're also um getting uh minus dice minus two dice pool modifier uh for um uh being disoriented and also you just vomited all over the deck mm. so you're gonna have a minus two for uh the next three combat turns as you're uh, disoriented and nauseated and had has just uh, been hit by this effect that caused you to vomit all over everything. So uh, Leroy uh, is not the only one to have vomited today. Probably won't be the last time. All right, let's see. Does anybody have any? I feel like I'm, I'm still on two. Okay. Does anybody have any? Uh, I lost track here. Wada went, then I did. No, I think Party Girl can go. Yep. She. Uh, so Party Girl's gonna fire, fire at the troll. Yes. Three hits from Party Girl. All right, one net. What's the modified damage value? Just pulling her up a sec. Oh, shit. I guess I should hold down talk when I speak. <laughs> so, yeah, that, that was uh, supposed to be a uh, a uh, uh, short burst. And uh, so that would be a minus two to his defense. And it's 13p with a minus two to his armor. All right, well, I'll give you 14p. I just re-rolled... Um... I went ahead and re-rolled with the minus two. Ah, sorry. No, it's cool. Uh, 14p with, you said, AP is what? Uh, minus two. All right. Well, Party Girl definitely hit him with a doo -doo -doo, and um, some explosions went off on his chest as he uh, staggers a little bit. Okay. Well, from the top, uh, from above you guys, uh, another... Uh, canister drops um, right in the middle my of you guys. Of, my spirit of Eric go same time as party, party Girl, I think. Oh yeah, good call. Who's your? Uh, I'm sorry. Who's your uh, Spirit of Air going after again? Just in. I know that the orders were to, you know, engage combatants. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have a, a leap over and engulf the uh, enemy caster lady. Now that it's got her covered okay. under a confusion spell or power. All right. So she gets to make a melee defense test, and my spirit gets five hits. All right, what is uh You said it's in golf? Yep. What are the effects? Uh, well, there's initial damage of... Uh, base damage of double force with AP of force. Oh, jeez. Plus net hits, and she's going to have trouble moving around. Is it a spirit of air, right? Yes. So it's sort of whooshing around her in a tornado-like rush of air, maybe uh, bolts of uh, lightning striking within. Probably air rushing in and out, making it difficult for her to breathe. Yeah, there's okay. there's lots of ways the spirit can make uh, it unpleasant. Right. But probably the biggest of which is 12 P, AP minus 6, uh, plus, you know, damage for however many net hits it got. Okay, well, she is engulfed and consumed and... And um, and when when the engulfing is over, she falls limp onto the ground. Next would be that canister drops down, like I said, in the middle of uh, our our three our three fighters there, Payday, Leroy, and Throwback, and the troll. To be fair, and another one drops um, near uh, near Wada, but then it bounces away. So it's uh, not quite ne right next to her, but uh, it's it's near. Okay, Wada, give me a reaction plus intuition. Plus, you know, minus whatever your modifiers are. Say, am I, uh, am I being attacked? Because so I'm on, also on the ground and stuff. Yeah, you're, uh, you're, a net gun is shooting at you. Okay. I want to hit. 
All right, you have a net over top of you. Do you have the, uh, is that in running gun? Oh my God, I need to. What's up? The net rules. Uh, no, but I've got enough negative modifiers being on the floor. I'm probably not going to get out from it anyway. <laughs> well, that's happened. It's an unarmed combat test to break free or escape artist if you have it against the threshold equal to the net hits the attacker got. All right, the um, the troll is reaches over and swipes up the uh, the guy who just the the sword guy that came over with him, and then um, and starts to to make his way towards the edge of the boat to to make his escape. Not so fast. Oh crap! <laughs> I'm on the boat they're trying to escape on. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, Leroy, speaking of, is next. So seeing his, his punk assness turn to walk away, I just kind of smile and take a, a quick moment to switch my, my gun to the underbarrel, and I'm going to shoot him with the bola launcher. Yeah, the dreaded bola launcher. That's a wombo combo. I will spend my second point of edge to uh, three roll failures. All right, it's an edge off. I only have four. Ah, I got five. You miss. You son of a bitch. All right. Throwback, and it's I, your turn. I will also use my, my walkie speed to to move away from where there are explosives. <laughs> correct, correct. There is an explosive. Yeah, I want to I want to try to get over to Wada. She's at the front of the boat still, I think, right? Yep. There's a, there is another canister to. on the ground in between you and Wada. A, a second one just so you know okay um there's no there's no pirates near wada currently right nope and that, the, that the only two pirates that were on a... the boat have are now one was picked up by the troll and the and now they're headed towards their boat okay is there is there anything attached to that net like a like a, a line or anything no okay then i guess i guess what i want to do is in 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 motion towards wada i see the canister and I, I will I will try to scoop it up and just lob it into the water as far as I can with my little strength two arms. You're gonna so you're using your interrupt. I guess you're not really throwing it back. No, I'm just I'm just clearing it from our our vessel. All right. And then that's like in motion to Wada, but I, but I, I imagine that'll take my turn. Yeah. Payday, you're up. All right. How many is there? There's a lot more canisters around, or. I kind of lost track of. There's one. There's now only one left, um, and it's in the between Leroy and Payday. It's right next to you. Let's put it. Yeah, Payday, disoriented, will uh, go over and kick that thing overboard. All right. Stumble on over and just give it a boot. And I, uh, well, I suppose would that be a simple action? Um, I'm gonna if if you don't want to have to roll for it, I'm gonna make it a complex. If if you'd like to try and do it, because you're, I mean, you just got hit and you're disoriented yeah. and nauseated, and I don't want to do that. So if you want to take the time to do it, then uh, I'll give it to you. But uh, if you want to do something else, you're rolling for it, buddy. I'll I'll take the free of uh, the free uh, field goal for complex right. action. <laughs> oh, my spirit's gone now, isn't it? Yeah, because she's uh, unconscious. All right. The only person left is Elric. All right. Who paid me in the worst position? With my third pass, I'm going to use my fancy new spell. I'm going to cast at Force for my Spatial Sense Extended spell. Um, I did get my four hits, so that'll give me detailed information for, I think, 240 meters out, which is plenty to get the whole boat, I think. So basically, for as, for as long as I sustain the spell, I get detailed layout information of this boat including probably smuggling compartments and things like that okay thanks so much for listening we hope you enjoyed now this show would not be possible without the generous support of our patrons over at patreon so if you like the show and you want to help support it then head on over to patreon.com slash complex action supporting can get you access to gm notes that get dropped every month and um, also the chance to get selected to join us as a guest on our cast party episodes, which has been really, really fun. So if you want to come on and you want to help support us, then that's patreon.com slash complex action to help us out.
The character art seen on our YouTube page and various social media places was done by Ethan Brewerton. Check out his awesome Shadowrun artwork at esbrewerton.com. The background music in this episode is brought to you by Prism Shard. To hear more of his Shadowrun-inspired music, head on over to soundcloud.com slash prism-shard and uh, give him some love. The Topps Company, Inc. has sole ownership of the names, logo, artwork, marks, photographs, sounds, audio, video, and or any proprietary material used in connection with the game Shadowrun. The Topps Company, Inc. has granted permission to Complex Action to use such names, logos, artwork, marks, and or any proprietary materials for promotional and informational purposes on its websites, but does not endorse and is not affiliated with Complex Action in any official capacity whatsoever.